Austin Healy BJ8 owners, gentlemen, start your engines. We are looking at Heritage Upholstery's world famous offering for the BJ8 Phase 1 and Phase 2. What I've laid out here on the table is a more or less an entire interior kit, and we're going to look at it uh, generally, and then we're going to look at it specifically and uh, describe in graphic detail exactly what separates us from the pack. And there is a lot. I can say without doubt, and I have lots of customers worldwide to back me up on this, our BG8 interior kit is the best available engine in the world, second to none. Simple as that. What makes it the best? Well, there's lots of things. One, the majority of it is cut on this very expensive CAD cutting uh, system that we, uh, we're actually using as a bench to show this. Here's an example, uh, it happens to be up, it's a convertible top for a Mercedes uh, 190SL. Cuts all the pieces, notches, puts pencil lines on. The, the weather equipment for the BJ8 is done this way, I don't have it up, <clears throat> but you get the idea. Um, everything is digitized as DXF files and then they become here. And everything in our kit is cut with this machine, almost everything. What that ensures is absolute accuracy to the, to the millimeter, to the fraction of a millimeter. In fact, to be identical every time, simple as that, it's digital. Um, so it also ensures our content. So for instance, uh, this we're looking at is a uh, custom ivory colored, which is a Jaguar color. It's a very nice, attractive color, kind of not really uh, gray, not really white, that's for sure. Off-white, nice, nice color, very light, super light gray. Um, and it's, um, it's got the maroon contrast in piping. So it's custom. This is for a, a good customer in Brazil. We actually do, we ship these kits all over the world. Um, we've got orders currently, not just BGA, but we got orders from Dubai, uh, Saudi Arabia, Argentina, Brazil, uh, Australia, UK, Hong Kong. Uh, am I missing any? I'm sure it's South Africa. Yeah. And there was a weird country that we're working on, I can't remember. Anyway, there you go, you got the, you got the hang of it. We ship it all over the world. Right hand, left hand drive, no problem. So, what makes it the best? Where was I? This machine, that's one. Two, our vast stock of original materials are all imported from the UK. Uh, Wilson Wool Carpet in uh, 15 different colors. We have more colors available for BGA than any company in the world. Uh, as we draw on those colors, all the standard colors, red, black, blue, obviously that's easy. Any custom color, con contrast and pipe, and anything you want, there's no extra charge for it. And again, we have a, a, a big offering for, for Austin Healy custom, custom colors. Um, so let's look at this, uh, this one. Like I said, it's going to Brazil. And we'll, um, we'll start by saying, we're talking about the materials. We're talking about the quality of the materials. This is Wardle Stories. This is original Jaguar material that we're using. OE factory um, spec uh, material that I uh, we get from the UK. Um, the leather is very high quality leather. How high? Well, I can tell you that we pay two t twice, three times the price that our competitor, known competitors, I know who they are and I know where they buy the leather and I know what they pay for it. We pay double, triple, and then we also have to air freight it in. So the quality of the leather is crucial. The quality is like a cake, what's in it, it's like wine. The quality of the ingredients makes the product. And it's not only that it looks good when you finish, it stays looking good. That's the difference in quality. Now, I'm going to edit a bunch of video into this presentation of stuff that I've already filmed. I filmed carpet sets and, and trunk sets and, and underfelt kits and all that for the Heelys and it'll follow after this. I'm not going to go into this, I'm just showing you here. Obviously all these pieces are sewn, every piece of carpet exactly as original. Okay, a trunk side panel for the, uh, the armor cord with the binding for the trunk and the felts and so on. So that's easy. Um, and again, it'll be covered. Uh, we'll start by looking at the seat covers. I, I don't want to pull these out. Uh, the shipping guys have put these in uh, together and, and um, 
I don't want to unpack them, but there we have the seat covers. Um, there's the backrest and the two tractor seats for the rear seats. Now, rear seat, seat kit. Um, I think what, uh, in addition to what I described as, as the quality of materials, we, we have to talk about content. A kit is not a kit. It's not the same as anybody else's kit. Content is different. If you want to talk content, you've got to be very specific. So I'm going to be specific, and I'm going to tell you that every single piece of soft material you need for the entire cockpit of the cars, including that kit, it's as simple as that. There's no extras, no extra to buy, there's nothing missing, there's no, oh, you, do you want that, it's extra, none of that. It's straightforward dealing with heritage. Here's the rear seats, we're back to it. We've got the leather covers sewn, obviously that's the majority of it. We've got the little snap set that's needed and the little straps, that, uh, leather straps that go on the fold down assembly. That's how complete it is, look. Leather straps and spacers are included. Um, the seat covers themselves and then all the pieces that get glued to the converter, um, the frame that folds down. They're all single pieces of vinyl. The dimensions are shown, 6x40 bottom wood frame cover, 6x40 top wood frame cover, okay? Um, 13 by 41 bolt lock head plate mounting cover panel. So everything comes labeled. Now what that does, it tells you or your install exactly where that piece goes. Okay, so now uh, that there are no instructions with our kit or anybody else in the world, but we make the effort of these labels and that guides you in the right direction. Uh, so the leather covers are shown. Uh, there, the vinyl pieces, the straps, the hardware, everything you need for that rear seat assembly. And we go so far in our kit is to include all the foam that goes inside that fold down assembly is brand new foam. Again, labeled on where it goes, the sizes so you don't get confused. It comes in a bag, easy peasy, double squeezy. Seat covers, obviously the four main pieces, cushion two, cushion two backrest, and then the, the booties, the socks that go over the arm pivot points. Um, wrap, the, our guys wrap it in uh, nice tissue paper. Beautiful. I won't pull them out. You'll see it in the videos to follow how they look and how they look when they're finished. So that's the seats. Um, we'll keep with the seats and we'll show our famous molded foams. Uh, this is our own tooling. This is urethane foam, 25 year life foam. They fit our seat covers like a glove. They are not the same as offered by our competitors, which are hard as a rock and don't fit, okay? Uh, these do the job beautifully and uh, strongly recommended. In fact, uh, we never rebuild any seat in-house without the use of new foams. It's a waste of money to take your new seat covers and try to put them on your own foams because the covers are glued to the old foams. So why would you do that? It's like body work, the, the crap underneath shows through the bodywork it transfers so we want to start with brand new so again molded foams from our own tooling uh, we have the tractor seats for the rear there's a there's a pad dacron and this other felt that's glued that's what we use in house get perfect results the same with the foam here that's for the tractor seats and then we have our supplementary foam kit this is the foams that go in addition to these and the boot sock cover at the pivot points with felt and all these other things that are very useful and necessary that's our supplementary foam kit okay so that does it for the seats um, and now we're going to look at basically what is considered our perfectionist panel kit we get asked all the time because you'll see it on your court it says perfectionist panel kit it's like ah but what's in a perfectionist panel, panel kit well everything else that isn't seats it's, just, it's really everything else for the entire cockpit of the car if it's soft material it's included right that if you can do a complete color change there's nothing missing if it's a panel it's applied as a brand new fully upholstered panel look at this beautiful work of art brand new door panel bj8 brand new steel at the front leading edge it's as beautiful on the back of the panel with the finishing with the extra care that the guys make with the staples um, a pair of door panels right so if it's a panel it's brand new even the hard to make stuff which is this this is laser cut steel on the front edge likewise with the rear quarter panels look at this work beautiful our work is done to a much higher standard than was ever achieved at Austin Healy 
go look at your original panels and tell me if they look like that on the back. They don't. I've seen thousands of them. Here's a BG8 rear quarter panel, brand new steel at the front rear leading edge. It's in there. It's steel. We don't need your old ones. Don't send them to us. We don't need your old panels. You, you, you're never going to look at your old panels. Imagine what they would look like recovered. They would just look just like new vinyl over crappy old panels. So that's why we don't do it. Um, then let's look at the other things that are included. A post panels, kick panels. There they are there straightforward and then we're down to covers covers to get glued onto things we've got the center console kit we've got the ski slope at the top we've got the two side pieces we've got the the, the piece that goes on the uh, switch plate in the center of the dash not only do we include the vinyl pieces we include the polyfoam that goes underneath the vinyl pieces so there's polyfoam for the sides of the console that's how complete it is there's a piece of piping there that goes across the top of the console between that and the dash uh, often missing but there it is, it's on the label, okay? 12 inches of small piping, so you know it's needed. At the rear deck, underneath the rear seats, is vinyl and foam. And we don't just uh, supply this as a, um, a big rectangle and you have to cut it. This is cut to shape by our CAD machine. Appropriately oversized. It's packed with some other stuff, let's see. Uh, well, let me just finish this. This piece goes underneath the rear seats. It's cut the shape, it's in this bag. We even supply the foam that goes under it. Eighth inch foam. It says foam under rear seat cushion frames. Okay, so there's no, that's, that's gonna save you a lot of time and headache. This, this is the detail that we have in our kits that saves money, gives you great results. And you don't, imagine trying to cut that bit by hand and have it fit and you gotta make a pattern and you know go find the foam you know good luck so this is what separates us is look at this this is the kit um for the rear seats okay so we mentioned that front seat frame vinyl covers that's the strips there that go on the angle iron frame for the cushion base okay vinyl covers under rear cushions okay that's that 12 inch by 12 inch vinyl behind Eight post panels. There's a square of vinyl that goes behind that, and that's in this bag, okay? Vinyl to cover transmission tunnel behind handbrake. There's a D-shaped piece as vinyl gets glued on behind the handbrake before the carpet goes on. You, you get what I'm saying on the, on the details? It's just, I mean, it's everything. Front seat frame covers, blah, 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 we got that. 20 inch by 20 inch to cover center shift dome, okay? 20 inch by 20 inch, that's big. That's a big piece of vinyl. How much do you see when it's finished? About an inch, and I mean an inch. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the fiberglass uh, shroud that covers the gearbox, gearbox shroud. Out of the center has a ra right raised circle, okay, with a hole in it, and that's where the shifter goes. And that dome gets covered, right at that piece there, gets covered in vinyl. We give a 20 by 20 piece of vinyl because you need a big piece to manhandle it around that irregular shape. And then it trims back and you trim it back and you end up only showing uh, an, inch, an inch of it. It is a difficult thing to do and it's made much easier by the vast amount of material we supply. You won't understand what I'm saying until you actually have a go at doing it. It's not easy to do. Okay. And uh, your professional upholstery shop will be delighted to have a nice big piece of vinyl to work with. Okay? So that's that. Again, in the kit comes the covers for the upper door cappings. This is the garnish rails that, you know, where your arm rests on the top of the door. The, in this particular case, um, so it would come, look, see it says, um, and they're normally black. So they would come in the kit, most kits, two pieces of black vinyl, two by seven by 32. And they're vinyl for you to cover those pe your pieces. There's also a piece of vinyl for you to cover your dash pad. However, if you choose, we can sell you brand new door cappings, which these are, and trim them ready for you with brand new steel, foam, everything. Same with the dash pad, strongly recommended. You're gonna, in your kit, get the black vinyl. You're going to take your crappy old dash pad that's falling apart. This is old as me. I was born in 1962. Let's see. Probably I'm older than, that, than your dash pad. <laughs> but uh, you get what I mean. You can't. It's, it's distorted. It's, it's 
it's delaminated, it's Baltic bush ply, which is how we make these. We put the tea the te nuts in it. There's a video separately that shows this dash pad, uh, brand new padding at the front. Don't waste your time trying to cover your old one. Buy a new one from us, complete dash pad. It's an extra, it's not included in the panel kit. It's an extra, as these are. So covers are free, pieces are extra as needed. Um, the same with these extras, there's some webbing that's um, in the convertible top between the bows. And there's a kit here that covers the uh, wood tack strips uh, on, on and around the convertible top, four pieces. And they're always in this parchment color, which is not ivory. It's just coincidence that ivory is, you know, this pretty close to ivory. But if it was a red kit, parchment. This is always the color of the factory used. Okay, another extra is the door fur flex steel seal you can see it we've shown it again will be in other videos u-shaped snap on with a fuzzy and a rubber rubber um, extrusion extra not in the panel kit okay back to the perfectionist channel kit so covers are supplied parts available as an extra we showed you the center console kit the pieces there for the vinyl and of course we have the sewn armrest cover same applies all the same applies for the phase one and in the phase one, we actually include the fiberboard panel that goes inside the cubby box, the little storage box, and even the lid panel. Right? So, um, and this is leather, of course, for the long armrest. Um, and it has the foam that goes inside it also included. Okay. And where are we? Are we almost to the end? Yes, we are. Um, then, this is very important. This bag of hardware, uh, it, we include the brand new panel uh, clips for the door. We screws and washers for fixing panels. And then we're into other things here. We have the, um, the hardware for the carpet set with the special uh, rings and plates, uh, males and females, the whole thing, everything you need for a BGA carpet set included. They're all labeled here. Okay, and in this particular case, the customer in Brazil has bought, like most people when they're doing a full restaurant, has bought our convertible top boot and tunnel sitting in that box over there. I'm not going to pull it out because I've got it filmed in another video. The hardware is included. There's the snaps. Every single piece you need. They're never installed by us or anybody on, on top. It's not done that way. It's got to be done on the car. 10x fasteners, everything you need. Even has the piece of hydem that goes in the front of the convertible top. In this particular case, a nice, I think the convertible top is called parchment, the color. Let's have a quick look in the box. And let's see what we got here. The separate box going because the rest of this goes in one kit. We have the boot cover, the tunnel cover, and it's, the customers tastefully picked this maroon piping to go with it. Convertible top has no piping or no contrast on it but it looks nice on the boot covers. There's pictures on our webpage. That's the tunnel cover. This is the boot cover. Again, reinforced. I've covered this in another video that will follow. You'll see it. But um, anyway, uh, my point is, is that when you buy this, which most people do, you get the hardware. Okay. And I think that does it. I think I've covered everything. And um, hope you enjoyed the presentation. And there's more to follow. I'm going to edit in some other stuff now. Um, but uh, everything we sell is unconditionally guaranteed to fit, be exactly as, as original. We offer unlimited tech support um, uh, with advice on, on anything you need to help you or your shop get perfect results. This customer, of course, is in Brazil. He hasn't sent us the seats, although don't laugh. We get seats sent from all over the world. I've had uh, BG8 seats sent from Australia. Um, and uh, Mercedes seats from Ecuador, and we got currently it's Mercedes from Dubai, two orders. But they send us the seats. So. so in the U.S., no problem. You want us to do the seats, the video will follow. Uh, you're spending all this money restoring the car. You're spending all this money, a premium product. Without, we're not the cheapest. We, we recognize that. We're, we're proudly the most expensive for this uh, interior kit. You get what you pay for in most things in life. Upholstery for your Austin Healy is no exception. With that said, uh, you spend a lot of money with the restoration of the car, spend a lot of money on the interior, spend the extra little bit of money that we charge a flat rate, 
and have us do the seats to guarantee perfect results. Okay, you take these seat covers to ten different rest, uh, upholstery shops, you'll end up with ten different results. Do it yourself, really, gentlemen. No. If you if you can manage to do seat covers as good, you'll see them in the in the following uh, thing. Then there's a job available for you here at Heritage. But I've yet to see a home restorer do a set of BJ. There's a the big learning curve and you're going to risk all this expensive material on the, on the results. What happens if one seat turns out okay, maybe, if you're lucky? Usually it's not okay, it's bad. But if, it, if it's okay, the second one turns out slightly better, now you've got a mismatch seat. You, you may as well do them both okay. Does that make sense? So what you're paying for with our services are the guaranteed results that you see on our photograph uh, and video. It's, it's worth it. Anyway, there we go. I did say we had finished and now I'm certain that we have because I have a big glass of wine waiting for me at home and it's the end of the day when I film these things and I'm now just thinking about that lovely glass of wine. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed it and oh, did I show you this? I think I did. Okay guys, that's it.